Well, that'll be popping up in June. The Bose Wave Music System has been one of the best selling pieces of electrical equipment that we have ever offered because it gives you that sound that we trust from the folks who are truly the artisans. Bose has been around since 1964. They've been a part of what we do here at QVC since 1993. And they have dedicated their entire company to the idea of reproducing lifelike sound so that you can listen to your music exactly the way the artist intended it to be heard. We've offered over the years the Bose Wave Music System in all of its evolutions. This is their fourth evolution and it's their latest and their greatest. Today is a Today Special Value. We have the best price available anywhere. Our price is lower than anywhere else in the nation. In fact, it's even lower than Bose has it right now. Bose makes this available at their standard price right now, today at $499. Our price tag is $299.98. Now, we're also including something that we have never included before, and I think it's a perfect way of rounding out everything you love about Bose. This, the Bose Wave Music System has a built-in CD player. It also has AM and FM radio, and on the back, there's an auxiliary jack that you can plug any piece of equipment, whether it be an iPod, uh, an MP3 player, into the back. But nowadays, so many of us have music on our tablets, on our telephones, that having this wonderful little accessory included now, and you're not paying any more for it, that would normally be another $30. That is a Bluetooth wireless receiver that just simply plugs directly into the back of the auxiliary jack on the unit. And now I can wirelessly play my music from my tablet to my Bose unit. I happen to have the one back here on the back counter set up. Let's play some music. If you own a Bose Wave music system, I want to talk to you. Give me a phone call in this hour and share your experiences with us. And that $200 that you save, spend it on something else that makes you happy. But right now, cracking the windows open and smelling the spring air inside our homes while we're sequestered and, and kind of locked away and cranking up the music, it, it makes us feel good. Feels good. All right, let me hit the button and stop it. Uh, throughout this hour, uh, a good buddy, Brett Hamilton, truly our electronics expert, is at home, social distancing, and we're using another form of high technology of Skype to be able to be invited into his home at the same time that he's here with us. Brett, good morning to you. How are you? Morning. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all safe. Uh, you were on at midnight. You were on earlier with my buddy, Pat. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Price is not the reason alone to buy this, but to be able to get a Bose Wave Music System 4 for $299 right. and change, that's ridiculously low. And it really is a piece of equipment that people will use throughout the day and every day. Yeah, and, and you now to right on the head, we're, we're doing more at home, obviously, right now, not by choice, but music for me is always a part of every day. I'm not just saying that. I have music on from pretty much the time I come down to the kitchen until the time I go off to do whatever I'm going to do. Now, being here, more often music is on all day long. I have a Sirius XM app on my phone, so I'm able to send that right to the Bose speaker instead of listening through the, the tiny little pinhole speakers. But yeah, I think the ease of use of this probably is just as important as how good it sounds because many of you go, oh, it's another gadget, it's another piece of electronics that means Wi-Fi, that means apps, that means, means none of that. You're going to take it out of the box. You're gonna plug it in and you're gonna listen. And you can listen to whatever you want. And, and Dan said this earlier, uh, no matter what ta uh, taste you have in music, it sounds good. It could be coming from the CDs. Yes, we still have CDs. It could be coming from the radio, but that waveguide technology is what makes it all happen. These 26 inch tubes, the spaghetti that's inside there. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. You tap the top of your device and it comes to life. 
The alarms are uh, controlled by that as well, whether it's snooze or to set the dual alarms. And then as Dan mentioned as well, for the first time, we're giving you guys the Bluetooth receiver. So it's bringing this to a whole different level. Uh, the remote control is all of your controls. There are no buttons on the device itself, so it's nice and clean and slick and looks good anywhere you put it. The auxiliary input is where you're gonna plug the Bluetooth adapter in in the back, and it's also where you could plug in an Echo. It's also where you could plug in a phone, a tablet, a computer. So we give you finally the best of both worlds, either wirelessly or wired. So no matter what it is that you wanna listen to, no matter what song you wanna listen to, and that's that's a pretty bold statement. When you think about it 10 years ago, you had to own the media that you listened to. Yep. You physically had to have the CD, or you had to have the tape or the file or whatever it was. Now, you go on YouTube and ask for whatever you want. You go on Pandora, you go on uh, any of these sites, and, and magically, you can create a playlist or listen to a certain artist or a concert or whatever it might be, but it's audiobooks, it's podcasts. There's so many different ways to listen. Uh, the audiobooks alone, nice company. If you're, if you're home alone right now and you want somebody to read a book to you instead, plug in an Amazon Echo or plug in your phone and go to one of the services like Audible and you can actually listen to a book. So there's, there's so much that you have now that you didn't have before and what better time to have it all. Uh, I'd start off the whole presentation by saying, Brett, if somebody owns this to give us a phone call, because the size yep. of this is actually remarkably misleading. It looks like a tiny box, and yet it is yeah. room filling sound that you can't get from any other stereo, from any other make or even model. Bose owns the proprietary rights to what you were talking about, which is that, that uh, uh, sound wave system. The waveguide. The waveguide. Yeah that's inside. And I kind of want to break that down a little bit. And for anybody who's ever taken the cardboard tube from a paper towel roll when you were a kid and put it to your lips and kind of went <laughs> and it sounded deeper and richer through that tube than if you just made the, the sound with your lips. That, that is the color version in crayon of what the sound engine, the Bose engineers are going, that is the worst description. But that's really what <laughs> is going on. And that 26 inch waveguide just creates a fuller, richer sound without adding extra volume because even at low volumes, it sounds really good. Yeah, that's the nice part about it. They figured out a way to harness sound, which is just the air, right? That whether it's coming from hitting a drum or strumming or whatever it might be and perfecting it. And there's a lot of different ways to buy audio and listen to audio, but those waveguide tubes that are inside there, not really all that exciting, right? And I'm sure it's a lot more elaborate than what we're showing you in this super cool colored animation. But inside the waveguide, it opens up or unlocks the ability to listen to any type of music and hear it the way it was supposed to sound. And by that, I mean, um, it used to be that if you listen to classical music, you had to set an equalizer a certain way to grab those tones. And then yep. you went over to hard rock and you had to adjust that. And then you went to something in between. Well, I put together a quick little medley of about a minute's worth of music. And I tried to grab with what we were approved to play acoustic, a cappella, a little bit of rock, a bass line and stuff like that. I want you guys to hear what it's gonna sound like. But keep in mind, you're listening to this, to this mic over the web, to QVC, to your TV speakers, and it still sounds really good. Right? <laughs> I, I'm laughing, Brett, because- now check this out. You can tell that you worked in radio for years because your talk was right up until the, the lyrics. Uh, exactly <laughs> like it's a bird in my brain. <laughs> Listen to that bass line. You hear it. Then off to an acoustic guitar. Isolated for the most part. A little bit of a bass underneath of that. And here's a vocal. We were young and high and having fun. Waiting for that summer day to warm us. Swimming in the ocean waves. Hoping that you find a way to join us. You really can't help but tap your foot a little bit. Hey man, music unlocks it all. Oh, yeah, one more little piece here. I thought this was cool because it's not heavy duty production, but you can send yeah. you someplace else. Yeah. So you guys get the idea, right? No matter what it is that you're listening to, Bose is taking care of the mix. They're taking care of what it's supposed to sound like because I've said this in, in, in previous shows. Years ago, uh, before we got into all this digital, 
In a recording studio, there would be these really expensive speakers, monitors, that the engineer would listen to when they were doing the final mix. And right next to them were just inexpensive car speakers. <laughs> yeah. And even though they went through all that time and all the technology to create this great mix, the engineer would toggle back and forth between what it's supposed to sound like and what it's going to sound like in your car. And they would find something in between. Now, as time has gone on and we now have the ability at home to hear it the way it should be, yeah. that's why you keep hearing about all these remasters and re-releases. And they're taking albums like uh, Fleetwood Mac's rumors and going and bringing it back to the way that it yep. should have sounded originally so we can all enjoy it but you still need the magic Dakota ring and that's the Bose wave unit that's a great way to put it and Brett already we've had 400 people who picked it up we are in a day and an age technology wise that we are better able to capture true sound exactly as the instrument whether the instrument be the human voice or a guitar or a piccolo or a tuba or a bass drum we can record that better than ever before and yet we play it back on things that are so thin that there's no speakers and our playback quality is absolute junk uh, that's the same with yeah. TVs, too. That's why I know so many people who will hook a Bose Wave music system up to a small TV. I've got two colors to choose from. I've got the Espresso Black, and then I also have the Platinum Silver. Same price, you're going to get a remote control. We have the lowest price available anywhere in America. The best price for a today's special value. Bose has it listed right now on their, on their website at $499. And that doesn't include the Bluetooth receiver. We are including that Bluetooth receiver so that you can utilize it for any playback, whether it be on your phone, whether it be on your tablet, uh, your personal computer. Uh, my wife surprised me last night. She asked me, how, how many, how many uh, record or how many record, how many songs do you have on your phone? And I was thinking, I don't have that many. You know, I don't, I don't download nearly as much as I know she does. Well, she goes, well, look at it. And I did, I had 564 songs on my phone. And I thought, wow, I had no idea I had that many. So I've got days of music that I can listen to just from my phone. Now, paying for the lowest price in America, I've got options for you, got a whole bunch. We still accept checks if you wanna do it that way. Or on any credit card whatsoever, you can put it on five easy pay payments, and that's 60 bucks. If you have a Q card, it's an even better way to go because you can ask right away for six easy pay payments, or you can ask for a special nine month financing program that you have no interest whatsoever for nine months. That's, that's pretty good. So you're taking advantage of the lowest price anywhere in the nation and still getting 0% special financing. And you bring it into your home at a time where we need music and joy and happiness more than ever before. Uh, my, my guest, Brett Hamilton, uh, and he would never admit this, but the guy really was a powerhouse in Philadelphia radio. And your love of music is probably one of the greatest passions that I've ever seen. And you really don't limit yourself to any one particular type of music, do you, Brett? No, I don't. I mean, the cool part about the versatility and so much that's available now allows you to kind of jump from place to place to place. I mean, back to my point a few minutes ago, you didn't you no longer have just those 10 or 15 CDs or records, whatever you're in the mood for on a particular day. And especially right now, listening to even more music than I already do. So I guess I'm overdosing on it. But Sirius XM is cool because I could jump from the 80s to the 70s to first wave to classic rewind. Yep. They have Yacht Rock Radio on Sirius XM. Yacht Rock And for somebody radio. that enjoys Toto is... <laughs> so somebody enjoys Toto as much as Dan does. It's to you probably every 90 minutes you're guaranteed to get a one of three songs from Toto, so you might want to look into that. But that said, not only is the music there, but you had mentioned about a television. And I stumbled across this option a while back when I first started uh, working with Bose. Uh, we get so many complaints from people that, that buy a TV, not necessarily from us or anywhere else. It's just in general, because the TVs now look so good and so thin, there's no place for a sound system. So what is the solution? And the solution in the past was to put five speakers in your home, two in the back, three in the front, and then you get yourself a base unit and put it on the floor. It's cool. It makes a difference, but it's not necessarily the answer for everybody. So if you have a television that has a headphone input. Like if you can physically take a pair of headphones or in-ears and plug it into a little headphone port on the front or the back of the TV, you can do what I'm about to show you. So what I'm gonna show you guys, and I'm gonna shut up and play the tape, is me toggling back and forth between turning on the TV speakers and turning on the Bose speakers. And when Bose is on, 
TV's off and vice versa. Yep. So here's what it sounds like and here's what it's going to sound like and how much better it will sound when you plug it into your TV. Take a peek. We start with the internal speakers inside the TV. Give it a listen. I have been here long enough for them to recognize me. I learned to ignore the whispers, the lingering glances. What are you missing right now that you're not even aware of? At least I could carry out my work in this. peace. They knew not to ask questions. After five years in this line of work, I learned to notice things. 